Hi, welcome to Earth and Sky. This week, um, first, she's still not here. She's still in Japan. She's still climbing the mountain. She's been posting some stuff that looks pretty amazing. So yeah, you should check it out. Anyway, so this week we had someone uh, write in and they had an idea for this week's live talk, which we really appreciate. So anytime you guys have a thought that you want to maybe get our thoughts on, or if you're talking with friends and you just want to see what we have to say about it, send us an email, earthskycenter at gmail.com, or put it in the comments below. Um, we really love all the your guys' feedback that we get from you. So, so this week we're going to talk about um, being in the moment. So... Uh, a lot of people uh, talk about, you know, be in the moment, just be here, be now. And, uh, and this person wanted some kind of action steps. And I thought that was really kind of a, a really insightful idea of how exactly do you be in the moment. And so I've broken it down to pretty much three basic steps. Um, so, okay, so the first one is letting go of your emotions now that seems like you know but in this life the way we've learned to get we're all really busy we're all trying to get stuff done and so we've learned that when you're working on something or you're doing something and you're thinking about okay after i get this done i'm going to do this next thing and this next thing and we're, we have this calendar in our head and these things need to be done and we got to get this accomplished and if you just drive forwards and drive forwards and you just go to the next thing and you get this done and you go to the next thing and as you're doing this you you really you you under you look up and you go wow i'm really making some progress you know i'm moving forwards i'm getting to that goal i'm getting to where i want to be i'm really my life is going so and that's all great except life is what happens in between these points you know that goal you want to get to that's great but life is what happens between those goals all of your life will be in between those things and so learning to engage those moments and learning to be in the moment first you got to learn to let that go so you let go of all of that anxiety that drives you forwards, all of that excitement of reaching that goal, all of that, oh no, and uh-oh, and all of the stuff pushing us from our back that we want to just kind of leave back there and just get moving forwards. And we've got all of these, we've got the debt and we've got, you know, the people relying on us and all of the stuff that pushes us forward and makes us go. You let all of that go for just a minute. And then you just are in the moment for just a second. Now, I've... As soon as I said that, I know some of you went, okay, we're done, and you're going to turn the video off. Don't do that. Because we're programmed to not be calm. We're programmed that the minute we hear the idea of just being centered, calm, we go, yeah, next. Because that doesn't, it doesn't stimulate our emotions. This whole world is about stimulating our emotions, whether it's good, bad, or the other, scary movies, action movies, you know, thrillers, all kinds of stuff. We're all about stimulation. And the minute we think about not stimulation, the lack of stimulation, we want to, yeah, I'm done. So, the, but the first step, if you really want to, if you want to make, when you get to the end of this life, if you want this life to be able to, you look back on this life and go, wow, I not only did it, I appreciated it along the way. This is, this is it. So you let all of those emotions go. You let all of the anxiety, all the drive, all the push, and you're here for a second. Now, our brain needs to be filled with something. Our brain needs to do something. So what we're gonna do is, step one is let go of the anxiety, let go of all those emotions, be in yourself. Now you've gotta fill yourself up with something that's productive. So we're gonna, step two is we're gonna fill ourselves up with all of this, all of this life that we are in every day, all of this life that we take it for granted, all of this details and the things and the places and the people and the life we take in. So if you're in a room, 
the couch or chair you're sitting in and the comfort that it gives you. All of the animals that you have, if you have animals, your family, your children, all of those people that are surrounding you. Um, if you're the colors of the walls that you have, that you, you dwindled over, how, what color should we paint these rooms? And now you never think about it. Um, if you're outside, all of the beauty, of course, Mother Nature, the grass, each flower, the birds, the sky, that big, huge sky that carries so much with it, the sun, and it carries those clouds to you, and the rain, and the snow, and the weather, and all of these things in the air. <sighs> the air that we take for granted so often. So you take in and you start to engage all of these things. Sometimes you may have to start with just one little section. Pick a room, pick a corner of a room, pick one corner, pick a half of a wall in one room, a half of one wall in one room, and just look at all of the things that are there, the colors and the books and the trinkets and the history and the wood and the screws that hold things together and there's just so much that we are surrounded in to fill ourselves up with and all of these things are there to support us all of those things are here there surrounding us for us so now we've made ourselves kind of a shell let everything go Step two is now we're filling it up with something. Now we're filling it up with life. And then step three, of course, is either the hardest or the easiest, depending. You add a layer of gratitude. Gratitude for all of these things, all of these people, all of these places, all of this life, all of the stuff and things and energies that make this whole journey of ours, that makes it up. We, appre we need to learn to appreciate those things because if you can appreciate them, you, when you appreciate something, you can't be angry at it. If you appreciate something, you can't feel disdain from it. If you appreciate something, you send it a beautiful energy that helps its life and yours. And so you go through these steps. So you become a shell, fill it up, and then you give out the love and appreciation to the world that, that to understand that it's all here for you. You know, all of the little photons of light that allow this to happen, the photons, that electricity that allow the lights to come on, you know, everything from those tiny little things to the enormous, the sun and its rays that bring us life. Everything in between. The doors on the hinges that make it so easy for us to go from one room to the next and yet give us all of the privacy we could ever need. I mean, there's just so much to appreciate. And so, those three things, once you learn to do those three things, you can be completely in the moment and you learn to appreciate your life, your life. Doing this does nothing but make your life better. Doing this does nothing but expand the world around you. And in making your life better, it makes everything better because everything around you is a reaction to you. Everybody, everything, all the energies that surround you are a reaction to your world. And your world is based on your perception. And your perception is what controls all of this. So, I hope you like that. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, you go to our website, earthandskycenter.com. And, and uh, we will see you next week. Thank you so much.